Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truth channel. So today's video, we're going to talk about something somewhat controversial. We're going to talk about the Whoopi Goldberg incident and where this is going. So this is more about the biggest scale. And I think a lot of people are missing the point to what is going on. We're going to talk about the Joe Rogan incident that just happened. And then we're going to talk about all the other people that have been canceled for speaking their mind and or truth. Now, with the whole Whoopi Goldberg incident stating that the Holocaust wasn't about race, it was about uh, man's inhumanity to one another, she was absolutely right. Now, it was about man's inhumanity to one another. As far as the whole race issue, that's to be debated. I don't think personally that the Jewish people are a race. And I know some of you are gonna, do, are gonna say, do your research, that's fucking bullshit, stop. In the Jewish community, they are having that very same discussion. There is back and forth as to whether or not the Jewish people are a race. You can't simply just call somebody a race because you feel like it. You can't go, well, we're a race of people and that's it. It's always been a religion. The human race is a race. Black race, white race, Asians are race. By the new definition of race, that means every different group of people within that race is going to be their own sub-race, if you will. For example, Native Americans. They're their own race of people. But if you want to follow the new definition, and I say new 1939 definition of race, that means every Native American tribe is their, are their own race, or is their own race, whatever, right? So what Whoopi Goldberg said wasn't that bad. That was the other thing. She was absolutely saying that it was evil. People were saying that Whoopi Goldberg downplayed the Holocaust. She did not. Not at all. And here's a, here's a kick in the dick, guys. Not in a million fucking years, I think I'd be sticking up for that bag of shit. But nonetheless, it's about being fucking fair and where this is going. It's inhumane as to what the, the, the Nazis did to the Jews. Bottom line. And that's the, that trumps anything she might think, you might think, or I might think. The inhumanity that was done to the Jewish people was nothing short of evil. And we are missing that point. The uh, Nazi party was evil to, and doing evil shit to people, period. Does it matter if, they, if the Jewish was a race or not? No, it doesn't fucking matter because Hitler didn't give a fuck. He used it as an excuse, the race card. He's like, well, we're going to exterminate this race of people. And he used it as, a, as, as, a, as an excuse, guys. And it's probably more like ethnic cleansing than it was a race uh, annihilation. But that's not the point. My point is, is that now the right is jumping on her and asking her to get fired and canceled for something that she said that was an honest opinion and in my and in, in my opinion it was pure honesty she was right she wasn't wrong now could she be partially wrong for uh, for saying that they were not a race i guess but again i don't think the jewish community is a race that's me she was right about the inhumanity to it now here's the other part that people are not picking up on. Joe Rogan is now trying to get is now getting canceled again because of the whole ivermectin thing. And now here we go because he said nigger, not the N word, a couple of times in context to what he was talking about. And so now Joe Rogan, who completely uh, tucked tail, tucked his dick in between his legs and turned his fucking dick into a vagina, had an apology video, which was fucking shit. First of all, the N-word, nigger, is a word that the black community empowers. If you don't want anybody else saying it, then you shouldn't be saying it. In Joe Rogan's apology video, he said that that word doesn't belong to anybody else other than black people. Bullshit. The word wasn't fucking invented by black folks. It was invented by white folks to demean black folks, to put them in their place, to make them feel like shit, to beat them and kill them and all that other bullshit as they were fucking ranting the word. The word nigger is not a um, term of endearment because there are motherfuckers out here shooting each other talking about hold that nigger. All right. So now the last thing you hear when you're taking three bullets in the chest is nigger. I don't know. If that's a term of endearment. Take this, buddy. I mean, maybe whatever. It's not the point. The point is the word being used and thrown around in the rap industry, in the streets, it's not a term of endearment. It's not a fucking cool word. I joke with the word a lot, but that's because I know that, listen, it's a fucking word. That's the other thing. To make a word that powerful, that it cripples you, that it hurts you when I cry at night when they call me nigger, then you're a pussy. 
then maybe you should just fucking jump off a bridge or some shit because it's a fucking war. All right. But here's the here's the kick, guys. Guys are not paying attention to what they are doing. They are absolutely now trying to tell us how to speak, when to speak and what to speak about. And that's the more dangerous shit no one's focusing on. So what Whoopi Goldberg said that Jewish people are not a race? Big fucking deal. So what that Joe Rogan used uh, said nigger in the context of what he was talking about? People are missing the bigger fucking picture. They are absolutely telling us what we can say and when we can say it. That is the problem. And it's coming, and it's, you thought that it was coming from the left and then the left thought it was coming from the right? It's not. It's coming from the fucking elites. They're telling us what to say and how to say it so that they can continue to control us on the things we say. And that's the bigger picture. I can care less what a Whoopi Goldberg said, but the fact that people now want her fired. Listen, you want to be a left-leaning liberal kook? That's up to you. But being fair is looking at what Whoopi Goldberg and said, all right, we can see her point, right? Or you know what? That was a stupid-ass point, but okay, and then letting it go. Looking at Joe Rogan's uh, compilation video that someone cut together by, the, by him using the word nigger and going, oh my God, he used it so many times. Oh, cancel him. Or you can be in the middle and go, all right, he actually said those in a video. If you watch the whole video, you'll see why he said the word, why he was using it. It's not the N-word. It's nigger. That's it. Saying the N-word, you sound like a fucking buffoon and a moron. Because, guys, it's a word, and it's a word that the black community chooses to embrace. So if they choose to embrace it, you know how you get rid of that word? You stop saying it. Period. There are a lot of words, I'm a thousand percent sure, guys, growing up, uh, we don't use anymore, right? For example, we don't use the word, well, some people do, but let's just say, you know, we're in the 90s. I'm like, yo, that shit is fat, son. You hear anybody walking around the street saying, hey, that shit is fat? No, because we stopped using it. It died off. So people stop using the word nigger or whatever racial term cracker. You stop using it, it dies. But they don't want to stop using it. They want to fucking keep that word going. And that's the same for racists too, guys. I mean, less, yes, the white supremacists out there, they're like fucking, yo, them fucking niggas over there, they're acting wild. We got to kill them. Okay. Maybe that won't die because of them. But if the rap community stops using it, you hear it less and less. Here's another uh, word we don't hear, beatnik. Right? Beatnik means hipster. You, no one actually says that word anymore. Why not? Because they moved on to better words like hipsters or bitch ass men. Right. So, again, guys, you want a word to stop being used. You want people to stop using that word. Stop fucking saying it and stop empowering it. It's that simple. All right, guys, listen, they're coming after our speech. It's, it, this is about free speech. Whether you like it or not, it's about free speech. And if you don't recognize what they are coming after and how they're coming after it, then you are going to be one of the controlled monkeys that will sit there in front of a video camera going, I don't know what to talk about because I might offend somebody. No matter what I say, I might offend somebody. And that's where we're going. Comedians are fucking walking on thin ice right now because they don't know what to fucking say because they might offend somebody. Guys, stop being fucking offended about bullshit. Stop being a fucking bitch. You don't like what Whoopi Goldberg said? Move the fuck on. You don't like what Joe Rogan said? Move the fuck on. Right? You don't like what any of these fucking people are saying? Move the fuck on. Grow the fuck up. That's the bottom line. So anyway, guys, this is the fucking Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.